looking at practice exercise 5.22 all digits odd we've done a lot of these similar examples and now we're going to continue on with this one so we want to write a method named all digits odd it returns whether every digit of a given integer is odd so we're going to have it be a public boolean because we can see it's either true or false the name is all digits odd and we take an integer as a parameter so this is going to be our function here so if we have all odd numbers that are passed in right here, we're going to return true. Now, if there's anything that's even, we're just going to return false. So we're just going to have uh, checks for these. So we have our int integer right here. Oh, we also need to make sure we account for odd numbers too. Since odd numbers don't change anything, what we're going to do is set our integer. We're just going to redefine it. So we have integer is equal to math.absolute values. And this is going to make our integer not have a negative. So we're removing the integer from here. Math.abs integer. You could do this on your own, but using this math class is a little bit easier. Now inside of here, we're going to have a while loop. And this is because we want to run through every one of these numbers right here. We are going to divide this by 10 every single time. So that way we get a smaller number. We're going to take the modulus of this, meaning we're going to divide it by 10 and then take this remainder and examine it to see if it's even or odd. So we have while our integer, which is the big number that we have, while it is greater than zero, we are going to want to run this. So inside of here, the first thing that we're gonna to want to do is examine the single number. So we are going to make a new integer value. We're gonna call it current and we're going to set it equal to, we want the last value. So what we're going to do is take our integer we are going to do the modulus, like I said, and we're going to have it of 10. That's going to divide it and give us this right here. You can see if you divide this in a calculator by 10, you're going to get 482211.6. So we're just going to store the 0.6 in our current so that we can examine it. Now, next thing that we're going to want to do is get rid of that 6, right? Because we don't need that in our integer anymore. We want the smaller integer. So we are going to set our integer divided by equal to this 10. So we take it out and it's going to round it down because it is an integer. Now we're going to do a check. Our check is to see if it is even. Because if it's even, we're just going to want to return it straight away. So the way we can check for this is if our current will do modulus 2. And what this does is we're going to divide our current by 2. Our remainder, if it is even, is going to be 0. So if this is zero, that means we have an even number. That means we want to return false. And so that is our check. Very simple. That should be it, really. If we never return false, well, we're just going to return true once we break out of this while loop. And so we can end our function with that knowledge. Uh, we are missing this part right here. So we will put that in. Pass 13 out of 14 test we see that we have the zero right here. It should return false because it's an even, but ours returns true because we don't check this right here. So what's a way we can do this if a zero is passed in? Well, if a zero is passed in, we can do a super simple check up here. Um, it's gonna be, I think, weird if we divide this. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work out. Um, I think this just bypasses this when we divide it. So we can just add a simple check up here. We'll do if our integer is equal to zero, then we're going to want to return false. Now we can put this up here, but what if we have a zero inside of here and nothing else is zero? Like we have uh, an even number here. What if we have other values and then a zero? Um, like this one right here. Let's say that 2, 4, 8, and 6 were odd numbers instead. And then we just have this even 0. Well, we're going to be in our while loop, right? So we're not going to see that because this only looks at the very um, first. It only looks at if there's only a 0 in here. So we can say, take this out. And we'll do if our current. And then we'll say if it's equal to 0, we are going to want to return false as well. So these are these two different statements right here. Uh, we could make it an else if if we wanted to. 
and we'll just submit it. That way it doesn't check this and then check this. So we'll submit it. We've still not done it correctly. Um, it might be because, like I said, uh, this is like this zero being passed in. If it's just a zero, it might be weird. So we can leave this else if inside of here and we can put back our if statement right here because it might be doing some weird stuff with this part right here. If we go into IntelliJ and we go through a debugger, we could probably see that a little bit easier. But now we can run it again and we've passed 14 out of 14 tests. So that's how we would do this problem with this code and solve hexa exercise 5.22, which is all digits odd.